It's a story that unfortunately is familiar to many families, though one you may never hear spoken aloud. From mental illness to suicide, so often many of us suffer in silence. Our Madeline O'Neill caught up with a local journalist at her home in Fox Point who says her family secrets are better off coming to light. Maddie's in the studio with us tonight. Yeah, hi guys. Meg Kissinger is no stranger to writing. You may even recognize her name from being a newspaper reporter here in Milwaukee for more than 30 years. But as she says herself, she's now turned her notebook around to herself. I got grounded one time. I can't remember what bad thing I did. Sharing memories of her childhood. You might call Meg Kissinger an open book. I was probably a sophomore in high school. That's when I was kind of at my naughtiest. Um, anyway, and I just found all these old photos. She knows the power of the pen, using words as her tool to comfort the afflicted and afflict the comfortable. Meg spent many of her 35 years as a newspaper reporter here in Milwaukee, exposing major issues in the mental health system and spurring change. Then I, I thought, well, this, the, the biggest story of my life is right in my lap. It's, it's in my own family. As one of eight kids in an Irish Catholic family, Meg found herself literally in the center of it all. I'm the middle kid um, in, a, in a family that had a lot of love, but a lot of a lot of mental illness. Growing up in the Chicago suburb of Wilmette, the future reporter's characteristic curiosity started early. I had all these questions growing up. My mother would be gone for long stretches when I was a little kid and I didn't know where she was. So much of her family's life was shrouded in darkness, a closed book that stayed shut. The night that my sister died, my dad called us all into the living room and he said, you know, in no uncertain terms, if anybody asks, this was an accident. It wasn't an accident. Her older sister, Nancy, in her 20s, died by suicide in 1978 by walking in front of a commuter train. I loved my dad very much, and he was a wonderful, compassionate, hilarious guy. But I think he was, he was afraid that, that people wouldn't understand. Meg knows the power of words, even and especially those left unspoken. You know, I would call my brothers and sisters and say, do I remember this correctly? Like, is it really true that we just never talked about Nancy after she died? They were like, yep, pretty much. It wasn't just Nancy. Many members of Meg's family fought against their own mental health issues, including her younger brother, Danny, who 17 years after Nancy's death, hanged himself. My brother wrote that only love and understanding can conquer this. That's a line in a letter from Danny a week before his suicide that Meg has since taken to heart, a guiding light in the darkness. I was able to use the tools that I have used as a reporter all these years, but I just turned the notebook on myself and my family. Meg writes candidly of her brother Danny's legal issues and parents' alcoholism. She calls, while you were out, an open book. I hope that people walk away looking at people, again, with mental illnesses as less scary, um, as, as human beings, as people worthy of our love. It's not about righting the wrongs of the past, but writing for a better future. We need more doctors, for sure. It, we, it's, it's scandalous. Do you know that more than half of counties in America don't have a single psychiatrist? Meg says she hopes books like hers can help others turn the page. Now, I wrote this book to spark conversations and to make it approachable for people. As her brother once told her, perhaps the most important words of all, only love and understanding can conquer this. I think he had the formula. Kissinger's book, While You Were Out, is now available to buy and really fantastic book, guys. It is a very good read. Full, full disclosure, our families are very close. We're from the same parish in the same town. I knew Danny very well. I'm very good friends with his sister, Molly. Mm -hmm. But there are five other siblings, aside from Meg, yes. who did not want to write a book necessarily. It was her idea. Yeah. Were they all on board? That is a great thing to bring up because you think these are things that are difficult to talk about, right? Important, but difficult. Um, but Meg made sure to make sure that her other siblings were on board with this. She interviewed them. Um, of course, not easy to relive, but of, I don't think it would be something she would do if her siblings didn't also want to do something like this and talk about it and, and get, the, get this story out. The more we talk about it, the more we can help people who are suffering in silence. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for your story. And I really want to stress, it's a very readable book. Meg is a brilliant writer, and yeah. she's got a quirky sense of humor, yeah. too. And it's 
interspersed all throughout. We were just talking about how it seems like I know these people yeah. now after reading her book. I know we do. Yeah.